Last year, I put up a video on a budget $120 motorized slider. And shortly after building that, I accidentally stood exactly on the, the control frame and shattered the whole uh, board. I think that's the best thing that could have happened. So on the previous design, I did call out the L298N motor driver as the weak link in the design because it was overheating. It's not really designed for stepper motors, especially at the slower speeds. And this was the perfect opportunity for me to redesign the entire circuit and improve on the previous drawbacks. So the first weak link was the assembly board. I had held everything together with zip ties and it just looked ugly and it was sagging a bit as well. So this time I was going to build it stronger and uh, try and eliminate as many zip ties as possible. Now I have just two. I have one for uh, just tidying up the, uh, the wiring and the second is for my front uh, grill. I'm also using the A4988 driver which is much better suited for this application. Basically, everything is now redesigned. I've got a much cleaner plate versus the ugly piece of plastic that uh, was used prior. I've got a plate that's rigid. The belt drive is parallel, dial in the right tension as well. So I don't have to sit and adjust anything. I literally just take out the belt and put it back. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I got my 40D here. You can have one of those quick release brackets. Um, I usually shoot with the other camera for video. This just does uh, pictures, so just for, for you to get an idea. Uh, it's advisable to use the ultrasonic motor lenses because they are extremely light. I've been able to dial down uh, to an acceptable slow speed. And bear in mind the slight the slight increase in speed does help because it, it tends to get smoother and uh, you don't hear that uh, that gritty uh, noise from the motor a couple of things to note while this is a much better and improved design there is one drawback here I mean, with the l298n i could power my control circuitry with the 5 volt regulator in this case, it's the other way around. So with the 4988, it's got uh, two uh, supply requirements, one for the internal circuitry and one for the motor drive. I've also introduced a finite amount of repetitions, which I think is important so that in case you forget, which is highly unlikely, this won't just keep moving till, you know, <laughs> something gets fried. So, I can just restart the program with, uh, as and when required if I run out of the number of cycles I decide on. I'm throwing in some footage for you so you can get an idea of how this operates. So there you go guys, I didn't really spend too much more except for the new driver, which is a few bucks here and uh, I was thrilled that I was able to spend some time when my hand wasn't moving on actually thinking this design through and, and improving it, you know. I would never get down to doing so clean and detailed had I not been you know, out of commission with my hands, so you know, that worked in my favor. With that, I'll wrap up this video and I'll see you on my next update. Bye for now.